after our 24 hour record run up the East Coast, the boys are ready to roll. Yesterday was the biggest and the fastest, absolute quickest trip that we've ever made. And today, well, it's up to 2.1, dead on our butts. 70 miles from Jacksonville. We got absolutely zero winds, so we have resorted to doing the favorite cruiser's trick of turning on the iron Genoa, which you can hear running down below. Really sucks. We're only 47 miles from Jacksonville after the best day we've ever had, and we got none wind. So with 10 hours to ride into Jacksonville, what do you do to spend your time? Try a little bird watching, maybe do a tour of the boat. A high performance cruising yacht. But Jody has her ways. She invented the uh, clamp it sheet for keeping the sun off of the inside of us in the cockpit. So the clamp it sheet is exactly that. And when the Dodger was built and the Bimini was built, she asked him to put special places. She could clip on her clamp it sheet. And boy does it work. It keeps the sun out. I don't think there's a chance we're gonna get a green flash, but I'd never forgive myself if there was. Are you filming it? Yeah. I thought there was only guy on the keys. No. And darkness settles in on Dancer again. Motoring into Jacksonville and dead calm. We'll arrive about midnight and try and anchor in a hole that we've never seen in the dark. Well, that's that. That is a Jayhawk helicopter hovering over the water outside the outer channel marker at Jacksonville. We have absolutely no idea why, but he was suffering so steadily, we actually thought he was a channel marker and almost ran into him. So now completely spooked by this helicopter incident, we motored our way up through the dark under this bridge until we see the gray spot. That's the anchorage at Sisters Creek where we spent the night. Two knots of current, two knots of wind, crossing each other, scary night. So in the morning, we motored our way up the St. John's River, about six miles to the municipal marina, which had free dockage. Sounded like a really good deal. Little did we know when we got there, there'd be a boat show in progress. But the real goal of our trip was to spend time with the grandkids. Jagger and Jakey and Joel going for a dinghy ride up the St. John's River. So with kisses and hugs all around, we said goodbye to the kids. So if you happen to have an extra Jesse ski sitting around and you want to feel like Superman, you can do like this guy. The output of the jet ski is attached to a board with two jets on it, and he has two jets in his hands. They can fly like Superman, or maybe more like Iron Man. Fun things to do at the boat show in Jacksonville. So our fun time in Jacksonville came to an end, and we sailed out to head for Amelia Island. When we're going up and down the channels trying to get into a port, we are always looking for these markers 
and they're green and red when you're coming in. Red is on your right, green is on your left. When you're leaving, the green is on your right and the red is on your left. At night, when you're coming in, if these are not lit up, they are not easy to find. Approach Amelia Island. So this was our anchorage in Fernandina, Florida. Nice quiet little spot. Little fishing village up in the distance. A couple of double masted schooners sitting out. Neat little fishing village. Fun little downtown to visit. Of course no anchorage is perfect and this one happened to be right off of a uh, cement plant. Eh, can't have everything I guess. The Seminole newspaper yeah, called and decided that they were going to do an article on us. Uh, so here's a picture that we cut was when we left home, but so we'll that they would have one for the newspaper. So as it turned out, we found a fairly interesting little town to uh, take a look at, Fernandina Beach. Looks kind of neat. Off in the distance, you can see very faintly the blue, and the green, and the red of the channel markers that we try and navigate at night. Now imagine those two lights against that kind of a backdrop. Do you see the channel marker? It's less than 50 feet away, but you can't see it at all. We have a laser pointer, and if I can find it, I'll illuminate that marker so we can see it. But you can see how difficult it is. There it is. 50 feet away. There's the channel marker with a little green laser on it. Completely hidden in the backlight. Without the laser, we could have hit that and destroyed ourselves. So it's time for boat chores. Quick run into town, pick up some plies. Jody's got a little laundry to do. And then always the cleanup from Rio. Fortunately, he's gotten pretty good at pooping and peeing on the deck. It's just that we have to do a lot of cleanup afterwards. Notice the little packages waiting for us up behind the life raft. So our time in Fernandina Beach has come to an end. We had a short weather window that looked pretty good to try and get up to Savannah. Once outside, we tied up with four other boats and decided to go all the way to Charleston instead. So 148 miles, one more night at sea.